Over there, the two different pairs of shoes. Yeah, I know. Which ones do you want for the photos? Which one do you want for the photos? <sighs> I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. What do you want? Just yeah. like a CrossFitters version. Which shoes do you want to wear? I'm not known for my decisiveness. Put it that way. Tiptoe over here. Today, team, I'm going to sing you a song. This is the album cover of my next album. <laughs> album title, like and subscribe, you bunch of legends. <laughs> Today, it's Hustle Made product shoot. Haven't had my hair cut in about, I don't know how long. And uh, yeah, but it's, it's going to, yep. 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 We rented out this studio, look at it. Wow, where we were. Very nice. Very arty. What's this? Just trying to get any excess residue shoes. We need some super absorbent like towel paper, you know? What do you call yeah. it? There's even a little changing room. Tonight I'm gonna be. Me, I ain't changed. We're here and we've got a white background. That was some matrix stuff that, wasn't it? Oh. Over the last couple of launches we've always done black background. And because we've done some launches in lockdown and because we've done some different photos here, there and everywhere with traveling and whatnot, the site for me, like the Hustle Made site has kind of been a bit like mishmash. Whereas now, from now on, if we like the studio and we like the white product shots, we're gonna kind of just stick with the, with the real plain white background and get all the product shots on there. So this was actually my idea? It's true, it was all Jazz's idea. I was doing some B-roll and found a coffee machine. Hello there. Oh with all the pods. Don't mind if I do. For the second channel, uh, if you want to see all of the garments and how they fit, I've got a little tail. Bruh. Kills it, that. <laughs> On the second channel, we'll do like a, like a overview of everything that we're wearing and how it fits and everything. There's first link in the description down below. But on this channel, we'll just do a cool montage. I got my peaches out in Georgia. Oh yeah, shit. I get my... Oh, you look good. Good. Good, 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 good. Kind of morality right now. Good, good. It's the sound of the you good, you look good, please. This runner, no matter how much you run on it, it's so much more painful than running outside. My calves, my hamstrings, I can make a list. It was about 200 meters into the first round where I was like, oh no. <laughs> also, the amount of times I wanted to stop on that, incredible amount, I just didn't do it. And every time I wanted to wait another 10 seconds to start again, nope, I'll just do it. You're gonna be in pain and uh, I know it's going to take a lot of time, but I mean, time's going to pass anyway. So just do it. Yeah. Motivational, deep. Jeff is still fine. Look at that man. It's getting swole. Recently after doing the conditioning pieces, I just like doing some body weight, bodybuilding stuff. Personally, one of my favorite things to build muscle is just using your body weight. Like I feel like I built my chest mostly off dips and push-ups. I feel like I built my back and arms and whatever mostly off inverted body weight rows and pull-ups. And then the rest of the time that I use the weights, it's either like big compound lifts, very rarely the deadlift, just because I'm, I don't like it for my back. But like occasionally, you know, once a month I might do some bench. Once or twice a week I'll do squats. When I'm back in the gym, when I'm at home, I don't like doing it in this space. Don't wanna break anything. But yeah, I mean, I'm not backing it up with science, but I feel like, you know, if you're a natural athlete, I think one of the best ways to build muscle, you know, and get a good solid foundational physique is um, body weight. Use it and do it often. 
So what we're gonna do now, um, 100 body weight rows. Not for time or anything, just kind of like move my way through it. I'll do 10 sets of 10 with as little break as I kind of can. And I'll move the bar down, 200 push-ups to the bar, and that will be kind of like my post-run, you know, little bodybuilding bit. Bit of country music, bit of chill, you know, vibing. All right, you guys want to see my diet sometimes? Uh, here's my breakfast, most days. Three bits of bacon, two eggs chopped up into a bowl of beans. You just mix it all, it tastes amazing. And then you kind of just dip the bread in and out, put a bit of bacon on it, put a bit of egg on it, get a bit of brown sauce. Decent amount of carbs, decent amount of fat, decent amount of protein. Our house is just full of athlete stuff. We're supposed to be moving out and we've got more boxes coming into the house than we do going out. <laughs> I don't, it's not the way that it should be. But never mind. Anyway, breakfast was great, eaten, and uh, just I just wanted to show you this. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't shoot it on the photo shoot day, but um, they're in, they're an important part of one's attire. Go on, Jazz, show them. These, show them these. They've got, they have. Um... You nearly gave me cramp in my hip. <laughs> Embroidered hustle with hustle made on the feet. Look it up. Yeah, I never usually wear long socks, but oh my word, it needs comfy. They're so, like, they're so, they're like wearing cushions. They're so soft. And we do them in. We do them in black and teal. Black and pink. Grey and white. And black and white. Classic. Crossfitters love socks. I love socks. Uh, so we just did more socks. These are so soft. These are my, probably my favourite ones we've done so far. Although we do have some cool ones coming for summer, maybe. But yeah. Very comfortable. And the hats, you done the hats. I'm wearing one of those too. Fresh off a dog walk, as you can see. <laughs> but uh, never mind. Also, a uh, long line zip hoodie. This is a size too big for me, hence the fact it looks like I'm wearing Craig's. <laughs> I'm also looks wearing your t shirt. <laughs> I've not really worn my own clothes today, never mind. A team. <laughs> you are the A team. Look team, it's not gonna be the riveting content that you want every single day here on this channel. You know, it's not always the most exciting stuff, being a YouTuber, you, you're a normal person. You do normal things. Today I felt like when I've edited that video, we've done very normal stuff. However, I did learn the reason why Pat Vellner may win the CrossFit Games this year. It's because science has proved that people with ginger hair feel less pain. <coughs> not into your hands, someone told me in the comments. But it was too late. Yeah, technically it means that might be the reason why Velna might win the games this year. Sick content. Yeah, anyway, the Hustle Made stuff is going live next Thursday, 15th, 12 p.m. British summertime, even though it doesn't feel like it. <coughs> BST. Don't miss it, and as always, thank you for all your support. And to everyone doing the quarterfinals, if you're doing it this weekend, good luck. Uh, I may have found a place to do it, so, <whistles> fingers crossed, I may do it. Be careful, I'll see you on the leaderboard. If you near the middle. If you have enjoyed today, please smash that like button. If no one's told you today, you're an absolute freaking legend. Yeah, and take that energy and just run with it. Go tell someone that you're a legend and then see what they say. Hope you have a good day, morning, evening, night, time petting the dog, eating dinner, wherever you are, and we'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>